guess what I'm doing. We uh, cutting some firewood for uh, somebody. Haven't even got any for myself cut yet, of course. But uh, we broke the chain, so we have to slack the tensioner off on the conveyor. So we get some uh, slack to replace the broken links of the chain. We broke it and some pieces fell off. And this is an old, old uh, type of chain link to show you how it works. Lots of old guys are like, oh yeah, I did that lots when I was young, but I don't know when they stopped building uh, conveyor chain like this, but it was probably before I was born. You know, as far as putting out machines like this. Anyway, just about done the uh, preparation for the repair. Now we'll jump down and show you what we did. Okay, so this conveyor, I rebuilt it a few years ago and put this conveyor belting in between each one because it just had paddles in here. This is actually a corn conveyor. And I rebuilt it, checked if uh, there was all kinds of different spaces between. But when there's firewood, it can get stuck under the paddle. And when it gets up to the top, it'll break. But and I even put Teflon in underneath. Can you see the Teflon runner here and here? Yeah. That's so that it'll slide forever and never wear out. Right? But these chains, this is what the chain looks like. It's a, not to zoom in too much, I don't think. But so that so, so I'm missing I'm missing four links here. And how they work is uh, you just hammer them together. You just hammer it like that and they'll slide in and lock in, right? And then they're linked, right? Mm -hmm. So there's four links gone, so we have to hammer, have to hammer this one out, drive it out. You just hold it with an anvil here and then a punch here and drive it out. And then we'll knock four links apart and slide it in, put it together and hammer that one on there. And then we're back in business, in theory. <laughs> so. I think it's kind of a pain to do. It's always irritating, but uh, I think you might as well. We can always speed ramp it or whatever if it actually. Uh, the hard part is holding stuff so you've got it, in, so you're not. Uh, hey, yeah, and there will be some guys here that are like 20 years older than me that watch this. Give me some advice on how to uh, the best way to hammer these apart. If there's a, oh yeah, you're supposed to. Do one thing or another but you should be able to just hammer it right there and drive that thing through okay yeah now you just need so it's four links right mm -hmm. one two three four Whoop. so now it's i drove this one half out of here i need to do that so one two three four five six seven eight holes not including the one attached one, two, three, four. So five, six, seven, eight holes. So I knocked that one through there. Let me drop my punch in the snow. The best thing about working in the winter is having wet, cold hands. That's a thrilling experience. One, two, three, four. That that makes all the difference. It makes life enjoyable and all that crap. I don't want to get my finger bashed. You know what I should do? I should pull out the pliers that are always hooked to my belt. And then, these are those Nipex, um, uh, what are they called, channel looks? I don't know. <laughs> I bought a pair of these for my brother Travis, the one, two, three, four, the, uh, the one that we made the video with, with the 59 Chevy truck that I gave the truck back. I bought a pair of them for him one time years ago. And, and then I thought, crap, I'm gonna buy myself a pair too. Okay, so now we've got the four, right? And you can put them on, you see how the slot is here. You could, I don't know, I guess you could. You could hammer it through backwards and have that one trapped that way. You wanna make sure there's, so now, Hammer that in there. Just like that. And then this is a little more difficult because there's always tension, right? You have to get it rolled up like that and then hammer it. Because you're holding the conveyor. Might need you to hang on to it, I don't know. That might do there. Done. 
done. You know what? What? It looks almost like a different pitch. Like it does look longer or wider or something. Like that. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I don't think so. Looks like they look the same. Hmm, they're the same. It's just that these are half world because they've been running on there for 16 million years. Okay, back in business. So uh, now we're going to tighten up the end. And all that does is just give some tension in your computer, right? and then uh, some wood stuff before it snows. It's recording now. Is it? Yep. Okay, how, I just want to see this much kind of thing, right? Yep. Okay, so this is that the roller chain. We didn't get a real good close-up of it when we are fixing the conveyor. But this is the side that runs on the conveyor, and this is the, open, the top side. And the link just works in like that. And, and to get it out, you drive it straight down through this crack here. So this line goes down. So I'll put it in the vise, tap it through with a punch and see what we're talking about. So we'll come in from this angle or something so you can watch it right there. This hasn't been, this piece of chain is probably as old as I am. Keep going. See? There was a spark that flew to bed. So it it. And of course to put it back in the same way, you just don't put it in that way. Because then your link is opposite, but you just put it back in. Done.